this is Praxis. We're here on the north side of the house. You can see the house behind you, and as you see, there are no windows on the north side. That's because there's no solar gain to be grabbed from the north side of the house in the northern hemisphere. It's the opposite, the southern hemisphere. Uh, the reason I'm here instead of working on floorboards, which is what I'd really like to be doing this morning, is because I was checking the work of the contractors uh, bringing in this well line, and I told them that the well line needed to be within 16 feet of the house because we're going to be putting up a small structure over here that's going to hold the solar hot water panels. Um, and it's, it, it's not that at all. It's um, outside of like 23 feet. Um, you know, from the house, hey, well, 22 feet or so. Uh, but it doesn't seem like they paid attention when I told them the very specific distance that I had to keep it within. So I, I've been kind of moving it over, uh, doing it by hand. I, I think I realized why they, um, uh, they kind of had it come out this way, because it looks like they did kind of like a bend at this point. I, I shoveled back about 10 feet of dirt here, uh, and I've been rejiggering the, the pipes, and I, right here there's some rock here, and it seems like they wanted to go on one side of the rock versus the other side of the rock. Um, you know, all they had was this excavator, uh, but I came up with a special invention uh, myself, it's not available to the general public, uh, that I can use to take care of this rock situation. I'm calling it a sledgehammer. I know not many people have ever heard of this, but I think that it will solve this problem that they weren't able to figure out. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I'm going to use a sledgehammer to break through the rock. Um, but the, the point of this is, uh, and I, I, will, I will show you that, and we'll see if any shrapnel goes up and hits the camera. Um, but the, the point of doing this video here is because I wanted to illuminate uh, or illustrate uh, one, one thing that comes up a lot in, in my experience with contractors is that just because somebody's a professional doesn't mean they're always going to do everything right. And there's nothing wrong with second-guessing professionals. Uh, I've in my life, I think probably 80 to 90 percent of the time when my kind of like there's something wrong with this radar kind of uh, pops off and I don't listen to it uh, and I listen to the professional's advice, 80 to 90 percent of the time I find out that I as a layperson was right about it and they were wrong. I don't know if, you know, I, I'm not like a super genius or anything. I, I'm not stupid, but, you know, there's nothing like, you know, super intelligent about me. I think I just have like kind of regular average ability to figure things out. Um, I, I don't think that the rest of the world is stupid or anything. I think it must just all come down to the fact that, you know, my own personal situation is more important to me than it is to anyone else. So, you know, when I tell contractors the pipes need to be in a certain place, that's important to me. It's not so important to them. You know, they get their paycheck at the end of the day one way or the other. So I think it has to come down to that because, I like I said, I don't think I'm super smart and I don't think they're super dumb. It's just, you know, it's a matter of interest and concern. And I'm very concerned about keeping these pipes here because I know I have to put a structure here. Once the contractors leave, they don't care about this. This is my problem. Um, so it's my problem now too. So I'm going to try to get through here. Sledgehammers get, uh, usually got two sides. One's a flat side and one's kind of a round side. The round side will deliver a more like um, uh, intense blow to like one surface. So I usually use that when I'm trying to break rock. Safety glasses on. Uh, very good idea for this kind of stuff. Here we go. Pretty. This is pretty hard stuff. I think I can get through it though. Oh man, last time I did this, a, a chunk went up and it hit my leg. I'm worried about that again. Maybe if I didn't have my leg, my pant pulled up, it would help. It's so hot though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now it's coming through. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got one leg uh, low and one leg high because uh, this knee's getting um, kind of bothered by kneeling and grit and sawdust and stuff, and my knee was just feeling irritated. But it's too hot to really wear pants, so that's why I rolled this side up. Oh yeah, this is gonna this is gonna break through just fine. A little bit at a time, but yeah, I'll be able to get through there fine. We're gonna shift this off by about three feet, and here I think I can start curving it off that way and. If I can buy myself like four feet and you know be on this side of the trench instead of this side of the trench, I think we're going to be okay. But uh, yeah, I just I don't want to be creating problems for myself to have to solve later. And if I can move these guys a little bit and make this next job much easier, oh, someone's coming down. That might be the well people to work on this right now. Today's the day they were supposed to be here. Yeah, it looks like it's them. That's it. Thanks for watching.